Now, uh, oil companies looking for new exploration areas are starting to take notice of the autonomous state of Somaliland. Bordering Ethiopia, it has a population of 3.5 million people and declared independence from Somalia in 1991. Several international companies are now searching for oil there. If commercial potential is found, Somaliland could open up to foreign investment. Uh, I'm joined now by Somaliland's Mining and Energy Minister, uh, Hussein Abdi Delay. Uh, good, morning, good afternoon to you. Thank you so much for, for joining us. Let's start with the search for oil. Which companies are searching for oil there in Somaliland? Well, uh, there is uh, four international companies right now that has operating licenses uh, with Somaliland, uh, namely DNO, which is a London-based uh, uh, company uh, traded in the London Stock Exchange, that's called Ganel Energy. We have DNO, which is a Norwegian firm that's uh, also a publicly traded company uh, traded at the Oslo Stock Exchange. And we have two Middle Eastern companies by the name of uh, Rag Gas LLC and Ansan uh, Wicks. So there's a total of four operating companies right now in Somaliland. If they do find oil, who will it belong to, Somaliland or Somalia? Well, we tend to believe it's going to belong to Somaliland. Somaliland, as, as you mentioned, is an autonomous state, uh, has been independent from Somalia for 23 years. Uh, we really not knew in this endeavor of basically being a de facto state that control and manage and own their own resource. Uh, so we feel that uh, we have a legitimate reason to uh, believe that the oil will belong to Somaliland. And one good indication is that, you know, we have publicly traded companies that basically entered into a contract with Somaliland. They did not go to Mogadishu to get this license signed. They came to Hargeisa, our capital, and signed this contract with the government of Somaliland, not Somalia. Which is interesting because the international community has yet to recognize Somaliland as, uh, as a, an, an actual state. Somaliland was a, a country, an independent country that took its independence from Britain it, in June 1960. Was. And then we, on our own will, united with a pretty Italian colony called Somalia. That union didn't work, so we basically separated from Somalia. Which is fine. That's a, that's, that's yes. a fine as far as the history goes. Yes. But, yes. But, but no international body yet recognizes you. Do, do, I wonder if this lack of recognition is actually going to hold you back in terms of trying to open yourself up to the world? Uh, we have been basically uh, doing our uh, own uh, uh, you know, uh, outreach uh, to engage the international communities, and we're not really short of companies or countries that are really engaging with us as a, an independent, sovereign country. Not necessarily having a flag in the United Nations, but we have uh, offices represented by different countries such as Britain, uh, such as uh, Ethiopia, Djibouti, uh, Kenya is going to open an office, uh, the, you know, Sharjah Fair office in Somaliland very soon. So we're we have a multitude of United Nations organizations that deal with us directly as a separate state, not through Mogadishu. And, and so if oil is found in Somaliland, do you think Mogadishu will try to lay any claim to it? I cannot really basically uh, predict what Mogadishu will do. So that's not clear cut, is yeah. it? I, I they might. Well, that is up to them what they will really feel like. But we absolutely 100% are certain that at the end of the day, this resource belongs to the state of Somaliland. Uh, and it's going to basically belong to the people in Somaliland. You're here in, in London as part of a, a delegation from Somaliland uh, trying to court international investors. We really have a, a well of a day yesterday. Uh, it was just a, a completely sold out standing room only. Uh, we basically, this event went well beyond our expectations. And we have basically just uh, thought uh, there's going to be uh, you know, a handful of, you know, of, of de delegates coming in. And it was basically completely sold out. We just had a, a complete uh, you know, uh, interest, uh, a huge interest in investing in Somaliland by uh, different companies from uh, the extractives to energy companies such as, you know, for solar and, 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 and wind and renewable energy and so on and so forth, agriculture. So we really had a huge turnout yesterday. Right. Minister, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you.